Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, back at it again. So today I'm going to do something a little different. Um, I want to talk about sanding, uh, specifically on the leading edge, but this will apply probably to the cowl, the boot cowl, um, the doors. I don't know about the wing tips as much because they're smaller, but probably. Anyway, uh, what I want to talk about was some of the tools and technique even though I am not a professional and I am not good at it. Um, I will be linking some videos down in the description from videos that I've watched that have helped me. And so far, um, my wing is, I would say, pretty good. Um, it's not going to be perfect. I don't know how to do it well enough or I don't have the feel for it, so... Um, but I, I do want to talk a little bit about some of the techniques that I've learned and things that have helped me. And then I urge you to watch those videos down below and maybe you can glean better or more information from those from professionals who do this as a living. So really quick, before I get to the wing, uh, I want to talk about some tools that you guys need to buy. Um, and that's not just for the wing, but... Uh, for any of the super fill work, uh, buy some of these. Uh, they're spreaders. Um, I got a set at Home Depot for six, seven dollars. I ordered more on Amazon. Um, they're flexible. Uh, you can like bend them to shape, and they 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 work really well. Um, I wish I had these for a lot of my other super fill applications because. What I found is I'm spreading it on way too thick, which means more sanding. Um, and uh, because it means more sanding and because of the, what I'll get to in a second, um, I was wanting to use a, an electric sander to, to get through the, how much material there was because I was putting it on so thick, um, which wasn't good. Uh, uh, at some points I was using like a, a popsicle stick to put on super fill and it, it just didn't work very well. So, um, get these, uh, a lot of people will use like a, uh, some cardboard, um, to, they, they mix the super fill and then put it on, or most people Bondo, but it, it applies to super fill as well. But uh, they'll put it on like cardboard or something and then they can grab some and, and scrape it on. But uh, I saw some uh, body shop people using something like this. And then when you're done, you just tear this off and you have a clean slate. Uh, not necessary. It was like $15, so I think. Um, I'll throw that down there too. Optional, use cardboard. I, you can use it out of the cup if you want. I whatever you guys want to do. But I found it useful. It's not necessary. It's heavy. Sanding blocks. You have to get some of these. Um, these, I've had them for a week and they've made my life so much easier with sanding. Um, I still hate it. <laughs> but uh, I'm getting better results faster with good sanding blocks. I got uh, a box full. Uh, it has two of these. They're thin. Uh, you can kind of bend them a little bit. You can't bend this. It's too thick. Um, this one's pretty pretty solid. These are pretty solid too. Uh, there's a round one for the curves. Um, this will probably be good on the cowl. I can't think of anything else offhand that this would be really good for. And then there's a really thin one. This is just barely thicker than a cap strip, but I have not used this. I just use the big ones. Um, and then uh, the same brand has rolls of sticky backed uh, sandpaper. Uh, I suggest getting it. Um, between the blocks and this sandpaper, uh, I was using uh, Home Depot sandpaper and um, one, it's just as expensive. This whole roll was 20 bucks and it's 20 feet. But uh, let me show you the wing now. Um, there's a couple spots that I'm still going to sand. 
uh, and I'll show you the techniques that I'm using, even if they're not correct, this is what I'm doing. Like I said, videos in the description, I don't wanna lead anybody astray or give bad information. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing, but build your technique from the professional's example and not mine, if that makes sense. Uh, still go watch those guys. I tried to build mine off of theirs, but it may not be correct. It's working, that doesn't mean it's right. This is, so far my third coat of Superfill on this. Um, pretty much the other ones were sanded completely off because I just wasn't happy um, with the way they were put on. And I, like I said, I'm still not very good at uh, the feel part of it. So, uh, and knowing, I guess knowing when to stop based on the feel of the surface, right? So this, this needs work still, this needs sanded. Um, We'll come down to here to this one because I'm done with this one. Uh, this, this is getting fabric as it is. So one of the things you'll find they tell you is uh, use your whole hand across it to feel for any high or low spots. So you just feel it. This feels really good. Um, it's hard to feel down here because of how much this flexes. Um, so that's going to be something you're, I'm sure everybody has trouble with is, is getting a good feel for this. I, I found that applying very little pressure here and feeling it is the best way. But even when you're sanding, this doesn't want to sand because this goes in and then it doesn't want to sand that. So right now this is a very good, uh, feather. It's, I would have a, like a high spot right here. Um, and it was annoying, so I put a very, like, like that. I, it started like that, and it's down to this. So, I can run my hand over it, and there's no high spots. It's, it's even, and then along the edges, you can't, you can't feel where it transitions into the super fill, which is what you want. Uh, here, same thing. This is just absolutely smooth, a smooth transition. Uh, I did around my filler neck really well. Um, make sure you guys do the same. Uh, I even did around the inside because the fabric lays in here. Uh, I didn't worry about this back half because there's no fabric on it because it comes across. Uh, one thing I didn't do uh, and I regret it is I didn't, I sanded the other side because I cut it and I was like, oh, this side will be fine. I didn't cut it. Well, somebody cut it. <laughs> it's, it was pretty rough. Um, and so I had to come back through after I had glued it on and I had to sand these areas and it's just not great. If you get one of these, these permagrit sanders uh, that I mentioned before, um, sand the side too before you glue it on. It needs it. Uh, just go, you know, all the way down a little bit. Flip it over the, uh, the lighter grit side and go after it. Um, other than that, uh, I'll sand this one down and show you some of the techniques I, I picked up. My only complaint really about these is that the, it loses the stickiness really fast. If I had to make a complaint, that would be the one. So, starting with 80, and uh, I've got a small block here, and I'm just gonna break this down so it's smooth.
150. And what I'm gonna do is I've noticed that these tend to be higher than the rib. So I kind of come in uh, and I still try to cross cut because that's, that's what they really talk about in, um, in the videos that I, I link below. They talk about cross cutting where you're coming at it at an angle and that really helps to get these edges. But with the 80, I wasn't really worried about these edges. So I'll come in with this long one and I'll, I'm still working mainly on the center to make sure this is smooth. And then uh, to do the edges, I'll come in with this and I'll, I'll just, I'll cross cut these, these edges and that'll smooth these right out. So uh, the music is because I'm running that and doing this, one, because I'm not wearing a mask. Um, when you're doing this, especially if you're inside or you're not running a vacuum or you should just wear a mask. I have this one right here that I've been using. Um, I run this guy. Uh, places are starting to get them back in stock. You can get them on Amazon. But uh, so wear a mask. But uh, I'm gonna fire this back up, and we're gonna attack this. This is really hard to do with uh, two hands. Just so you know. Now, this is the hardest part for me. Uh, so, got it all sanded down. Um, this is just, I didn't talk about it, but it's just 150 uh, on the small block. Um, this, I've bent a little bit because I was working here, but I found that that bend works really good to stay on this shape as well, because this, this whole thing has a, a bit of a, a slope to it, right? So. It's really nice because it'll conform to that really well. And then, so when you're hitting it, you come up at an angle to cross cut it and you can, you can probably see it, but this, this looks like it's feathered really nicely. There's some issues here. I can feel it. Um, you can probably see it too. There's some holes 
Uh, I just need to hit that and then take those out and it'll even up. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna end this one here. Um, I'm going to do a little more sanding on this side. My goal is to have this covered and done by the end of the month. I don't think there's anything else, but uh, I hope you guys find this video um, helpful. That's all I got. Like and subscribe if you want to. Love the comments. Anyway, guys, have a good one.